Hi there guys, is it just Matthew here? Now, um, I thought that today I would do the last of my model reviews. So today I will finish up with the 2014 Wild Safari Monolophosaurus or Monolophosaurus, however you want to, want to pronounce it. So yeah, so and this guy is really, really awesome. I mean, just look at the detail on the head. Got this really tall up. A bone up here off the top, that's that's the crest, because it means a uh, single crested lizard. And we've got these uh, spines going down the back here, all the way to the tip of the tail. It's really nice red, mixed with a brown coloration on him. Got a really nice creamy underside, a cloaca opening just under that. Now I've had to position this on one of my books because on the carpet he doesn't stand up and look if you look carefully he's not using his tail as a tripod like certain Carnegie models do but yeah this guy stands perfectly well on his two feet and like the Sukumamas of this year they are not large like the ones from 2012 uh, the hands are correctly um, they've got the correct number of digits and if they're in the correct position, no bunny hands, they are not pronated. And we've got these really nice teeth in there in the jaw as well. Got the nostril there. We've got an ear on the side there as well. Yeah, and um yeah, I think this is the first time that Monolophosaurus has actually been made in any model range. However, if any of you guys have heard of Dino Wars, which is like a little collectible dinosaur battle game, a Monolophosaurus has actually been made. These little ones, and I think that they make pretty cool little babies. I've got two of these. I think they make a nice family unit. So you've got the parent and then the two babies. So I think they're pretty cool. Yeah, I think they make a really cool little family unit so yeah so yeah this, this guy's really awesome and it's also nice to see another um chinese model dinosaur made and this guy lived in the about the middle of jurassic time and would probably fed on uh stegosaurus like um the huayangosaurus and uh sauropods like omasaurus so yeah, so this guy is really, really awesome. Really beautifully detailed. Love the skin texture. I mean, just look at that. I mean, look at the skin folds just right there. See right there. A little close up on the head. These nicely sculpted teeth, which I think complement. I mean, they are pretty sharp. Put your fingers near it. So yeah, this is a really, really awesome model. Really obscure and really cool looking theropod. And um. If you guys are thinking that maybe Dilophosaurus and Monolophosaurus are related, they are not. They're not related at all. It's just they have the um, a crest, except Dilophosaurus has two crests. But no, they're not related in, in any way at all. So, <laughs> a background for you there. So, um, I hope you guys like this video. Um, please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. If there are any other models you want me to review, um, please let me know in the comments below or just message me if you guys have added me on Facebook just add, message me there and um, I will um, get around to it so um, take care guys